In this Workplace Wellbeing Essentials conversation, I'm joined today by Sarah Routman. Sarah inspires other li- others to live happier, healthier, and more meaningful lives by incorporating laughter into their daily life. Sarah is an international laughter yoga specialist and an energetic keynote speaker and workshop facilitator. Sarah, welcome. I'm so happy to be with you, Mari. Great. Thanks so much for taking some time for our conversation today. Oh, there's always time for an extra laugh. Yeah, exactly. So let's, let's start by just help me understand the difference between humor and laughter. Are they the same thing? Well, not at all, actually. Humor is a very subjective thing. People um, say that they have a sense of humor. They might find something funny, but two people could have very different senses of humor. So we may pay a lot of money to go see a comedian, and you may think that it's hilarious, and I may walk out being offended even. And so the thing that separates laughter from humor is that you can laugh Regardless of your sense of humor, you can actually learn to laugh for no reason at all, just (laughs) and just get the giggles because you want all the benefits of laughter without ever actually thinking you have a good sense of humor. And what will actually happen is as you learn to laugh for no reason at all, you'll find that you can find the humor in more things. So, but, but the laughter is not dependent on a good sense of humor. Okay, thanks for clarifying that and making that distinction. So in the workplace, we're often serious and really focused on achieving the objectives of the, of the organization. Yes. What are the benefits of laughter and lightening up at work? Well, so typically in the workplace, we tend to socially do a little <laughs> kind of laughter where we just are agreeing with a joke or agreeing with something that someone says. Uh, what we want to try to do is generate more robust laughter, if you will. And the advantages range from the research indicates that when you share laughter with someone, you're much more likely to shed some inhibitions and share honest things about each other, whether or about yourselves to each other, whether you are laughing with strangers or friends. You also cannot physiologically be angry and laugh at the same time. So laughter in the workplace can really help you build a stronger team and more cohesive structure. It's great for uh, dispelling some conflicts that may happen when you get people together laughing because they shed those inhibitions they lose some tension um, stress anxiety and depression are dissipated or lessened when you laugh and so you get a fresher perspective so you can tackle your problems and any issues that you have uh, in a more meaningful way great So what are some uh, techniques or approaches that managers and employees can use to incorporate more laughter at work? Well, it's always good to try to figure out what actually does trigger some humor for you or does trigger laughter. And again, it might not be a joke. Um, One thing I love to start with is a baby video. Um, There are like minute and a half videos of the four babies and they and their mom are lying in bed and they're just laughing for no reason at all and you really can't help cracking a smile or even giggling along with them when you see that. Um, Depending on your position in the company, you might want to put post-it notes everywhere one day that just say, LOL, try to smile, have a good day, and watch what people do when they walk in and see these beautiful colored post-it notes all around. not necessarily wanting to delve into that, there is an exercise that I highly recommend called Smile Ups. And I recommend that people start every day with this, but it's great to grab a smile buddy and do this together. So Mary, Mari, you could do this with me if you want, but it's smiling, a great big smile, and then relax. And as you do this, you feel a little silly, and so a giggle might escape you, which is okay. So do it again. We're going to do 10. Relax. Ten. <laughs> Four. Five, relax. We won't do the rest right now, but what happens is by just smiling, you're sending endorphins to your brain. That's shifting your brain for a happier perspective. And when you do it with someone else and you allow yourself to feel ridiculous, then you start laughing. And once you start laughing, it's contagious. Other people will see you. They may think it's silly. You start laughing and then it just goes from there. I love it. Well, that's just a great, simple technique that anybody can incorporate into their day 
just as soon. And I could do it anywhere. I can do it in the car. I can do it That's walking right. to the bus. I can do it walking yeah. to my next thing. I can do it anywhere. That's right. Okay. And it's a really a great way to shift your brain chemistry and give you an opportunity to, to change your perspective. Instead of counting to 10 when you're upset, which just, you know, often people are just like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they're still angry. If you just relax and smile, you're changing your brain chemistry and giving yourself a chance to look at it differently. I love it. I love it. Well, thanks so much for that quick tip and for bringing a little bit, lightening up our day a little bit and bringing some laughter into our day. So, Sarah, thanks so much for that uh, really insightful tip. And as you can tell, Sarah would be a great person to have uh, in your organization to be able to bring into your organization to be able to um, make laughter a part of every day at work. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. It was a pleasure being here.